first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to Concord Baptist and Rick Caldwell for giving me this opportunity to share my testimony. My name is Mario Huffman. I've had the privilege of knowing Pastor Rick and the Caldwell, and, and the Caldwell family since about 2012 when I first came to Farmville to coach basketball at Hampton Sydney, transitioned to Longwood the next year, coached there for one season. And during that time, God began to really knit us together. And since that time, uh, Pastor Caldwell has become a mentor, uh, a, a friend, a father-like figure, uh, someone that truly is a representation of someone that you can imitate in regards to pursuing Christ. So, so grateful for that relationship. Um, I, thinking back, I came to faith at the age of 24. I was born in Danville, Virginia, grew up in the church. At the age of seven, my mother passed away um, due to a z disease named lupus. Uh, my dad remarried shortly afterwards and we were back in the church um, faithfully. Every Sunday it was routine, it was, it was religious. And I knew Jesus to be savior, but didn't really understand much about him beyond that. If you looked at his life, it was kind of like your favorite athlete who has um, a stats card, a record card that basically shows their statistics from the time they entered the league until they retired. And that's what Jesus was to me. He was a popular figure who um, had walked on water, had turned water into wine at a wedding, who had healed many people from various diseases. I just, I had all these fun facts, but didn't really have that relationship. Uh, fast forward after college, I uh, played some ball and ended up going into banking as an internal auditor right out of college. And I was still chasing fame and success. My identity was wrapped up in my performance. And on August 3rd, 2011, uh, Jesus really uh, shook my life. In, in a challenging way, but in a way that showed me that he is God. Um, I had a little brother who was 16 years old who idolized my life. And unfortunately, I didn't set the, vet, the best model for him. Through that process, he got caught up in the wrong crowd and ultimately his decisions and the lifestyle that he was pursuing uh, placed him on his deathbed. And I remember seeing him in his current status and and the situation that he was facing and our entire family was traumatized. And I remember crying out to God and saying, God, if you deliver him, if you save him, then I'll follow you. And not knowing that here I am asking God to uh, bend his request to what I desire, uh, but out of his grace and his mercy for, for me and for my family, uh, he began to uh, heal us from the situation that we were dealing with. And in that moment, I surrendered to Christ and I said, whatever it is you have for me, Lord, I'm willing to do. Uh, give, Replace my heart with your heart, burden my heart for the things that burden yours and give me an opportunity to see life from your vantage point. Uh, so in that moment, I surrendered my life to Jesus. And for the first time in my life, I began to recognize that not only is he savior, but he's Lord, that he has created me from the foundation of the earth. He knew my name. He counted the number of hairs on my head. He knew my name and my mother's womb. I belong to him. And since that time, that's put me on a journey of faithfulness towards him and his mission. And I'm grateful to know that uh, the same deliverance that he's given me, he's created for all those who love him and accept him as Lord and Savior.